Hello, hello, Aries Cross Watchers. Welcome to my channel. You all, I am Tiarica Love. All right, Aries, we're going to get you all some messages for your love connection for the remainder of the month. Uh, please know these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? So I'm going to pull overall messages here for your love connection. We're going to get the overall energy. We're going to take a look at the situation and other things to see what's going on. Get some feelings between you two and end it off with some advice, okay? All right, so Aries, let's see. What's the overall message here? You got a young man, okay? So this is someone who's possibly dark-haired, who is outgoing, friendly, and is a natural leader here. This young man is very expressive, loves creating, and prefers meaningful conversation over a little chit-chat here, okay? Maybe, um, so there could be a younger masculine energy here that is going through maybe some legalities that they have to take care of um, legal issues here know that legal issues will be resolved fa fairly make sure that you take the high road and all that you do okay and obey the traffic laws all right so that's your overall message here for the remainder of the month okay all right so let's take a look at love here okay aries in love you got watch out I didn't even get to shuffle those. Uh, I popped right out. So watch out, Aries. This is a warning message. Be aware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection, okay? So don't allow it. Um, when you know what's going on, then you can handle it more or better, okay? And then you got disharmony here. So there seems to be some type of disconnect between you and your person. You want to use this time to address any issues to restore harmony back into this relationship all right so let's see what's going on here uh, with you all libras okay i mean aries i'm sorry for some of you all you could be dealing with a libra but i just finished uh libra so aries 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 sorry all right so let's see what's going on here with you aries between you and your love interest okay what's the situation all right what is the energy that is surrounding here this situation okay what are some obstacles all right let's see aries okay let's see who or what is coming towards you all and let's look at the near future all right aries let's see Okay, situation here between you and your love interest. You got family oriented here. All right, so um, you're thinking about growing here a family with this person, okay? You do see this person as someone that will fit in quite well when it comes to, if you're a single parent, when it comes to you and your children, or you see them as someone that you can grow with here, okay? Let's get the um, surrounding energy. Um, emotional intelligence here okay so maybe you maybe a person is maybe having to grow emotionally here okay maybe they have a need there's a need to balance the emotional their emotions here okay um, or well let's keep going obstacles here all right so obstacles here would be someone is coming empty-handed uh, either this person don't have, they don't, they are not able to offer you anything at this time, okay? But we're going to clarify this energy, y'all, all right? Um, let's look at the recent past here. You got obsessions and some addictions, okay? So someone in this connection could be a bit obsessed, maybe um, have some type of addictions. There are three people here in this um, card, so... Um, Maybe you feel like you're dealing with someone that likes to deal with people outside of you, okay? But let's keep going. What's the hopes and our fears here? Movement. So you're hoping to move forward here with this person 
or you are fearing that um, there will be no forward movement here, okay? Who and what is coming towards you all? You got emotionally unavailable, all right? So your person at this time could be a bit emotionally unavailable here. Um, and in the near future, you have no contact, okay? So there could be... You know, from now until the end of the month of May, uh, maybe you all have to work on communication here between, you know, you and your person, all right? So, let's clarify. Okay, so tell us more about this family-oriented here situation. You're waiting, okay? So, you are waiting here. Maybe you are growing impatient with this person. Um, you having to wait and you're growing impatient that could be causing the disharmony here. Okay, so let's look at this emotional intelligence You have screenshots getting evidence and proof So the energy that is surrounding the situation is someone um, Wants some type of evidence someone maybe you feel like you need to know the facts or you feel like you don't know everything that you need to know about um, this situation or your person. But with this emotional intelligence on top of the screenshots and getting proof, um, hmm. oh, maybe this trying to get evidence, trying to get proof is kind of throwing someone off here emotionally here. Okay? It is, it's, I don't know. Let's keep going, y'all. Let's look at the obstacles with the empty-handed, all right? So the obstacles here is you feel like your person have groupies. Maybe your person, um, you're dealing with someone that has uh, multiple or other options here, okay? But this is why this person is coming empty-handed, all right? It could be still um, intrigued by their groupies, okay? So let's look at this obsession. That's too many. Obsession and addictions here for Aries in the recent past. In the recent past, you got looking you up here. Someone was snooping here, studying, um, doing a lot of research, but trying to find information out pretty much over through some going through someone's phone or looking at their social medias okay in the recent past also you got crying over you uh, someone's very sad and upset here so it's kind of not um, being not being emotionally fulfilled here okay so let's look at the movement all right movement here you got inside scoop so there is someone in this connection or that is surrounding this connection that just feels like you have a hard time trusting your person. That's what I'm getting, okay? But for the hopes and our fears, um, you're just hoping to pretty much, you want to know where you and this person is headed, okay? All right, so emotionally unavailable, let's look at, all right. So, who or what is coming towards you? Maybe someone that, yeah, they have a hard time connecting emotionally here. All right? They are, when it comes to their emotions, it's like they're unbothered here. Okay? You got no facts or um, someone that pretty much have to be more honest and be truthful here. Okay? And uh, this is a blocking on a Facebook you know, in this connection, there is a lot of uh, phone play here. Whether it is on the social media accounts, um, going through phones, maybe uh, it's a lot of not really talking to your person to see actually what is going on. It's more of trying to snoop and find out what is going on okay so it's like a, a huge trust issue here okay so let's look at this no contact so it's more about this no contact here for the near in the near future with aries okay so you got bad habits here there is some type of addictions or some type of toxicities here that your person is dealing with um and you might just maybe want to uh, give them a little space here, okay? But let's keep going, y'all. Let's clarify. Let's clarify more. Tell us more about this family-oriented with the waiting. 
the situation here okay you got unsighted so they're unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity or of the toxicity that they brought into the connection because this is all they know all right so your person is unable to see how toxic they are because this is pretty much what they know okay let's um, look at this emotional intelligence with the screenshots okay you got serendipity they are leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together okay so um that's what's going on with the energy that is surrounding the situation okay they're leaving things up to chance all right so let's look at uh the obstacles with the empty handed and a groupie you got battle of the wits here so until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. All right. So that's an obstacle. Now with the recent past here, you have breakthrough. So they are planning right now to come, maybe in a recent plan, past, they were planning to come towards you and ask for a second chance. Um, so you can expect some communication soon. Also, you got investigating. So they are secretly snooping and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new here. All right. So again, there is a lot of snooping here. Uh, let's look more at this movement with the inside scoop. You got awakening. So when it comes to your hopes and our fears, um, they or the awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and recognize the connection, okay? So your person is going through an awakening, okay? Now, um, for the who, and who or what is coming towards you all, you got divine intervention. So they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them to gain clarity on this connection. So your person is going through some type of divine intervention and... Um, yeah, we got to allow them uh, space here, okay? So they can continue to gain clarity that they need or that they're looking for, okay? Now, with the no contact and the bad habits, you got uprooting, all right? So they are leaving, so in the near future, they are leaving all that is familiar to them for a long-term relationship, I mean, or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you, okay? All right, so let's get some feelings here between the two of you all right so i feel overwhelmed with responsibilities a lot has happened i'm not sure how to handle this connection i don't know where it fits okay and i want you i crave you i long to feel you again i want to tell you that i, I mean i won't tell you that i want to show you sorry y'all Okay, and you also have, I am holding on to you in the deepest parts of me. On the surface, it may seem that I have let you go, but I haven't. I don't want to let you go. Okay, so someone here is, you know, um, you're just hoping for a change here. Okay, and one more. I don't want to have conflict with you. I'm not trying to play games. I'm just conflicted in my mind how to proceed. All right. Now let's get some advice for you. Advice for Aries. Okay. So you got lessons of Uranus. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with detachment and inconsistency. A theme of freedom or commitment. No expectations are the best expectations to have. This is Uranus energy. For some, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you have abundance here. So you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. All right. So be patient. Also, lessons of Pluto. Patterns of control. Well, uh, the Pluto is Scorpio energy. This is patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull. Um, you have to realize here that intimacy is not something that is possessive, okay? And let's get you one more unavailable, all right? So this person is unable to give you all you deserve at this time, okay? So you maybe want to allow them to continue to go through the awakening and the divine intervention, okay? Okay, y'all. So these are your messages. I really hope that they will be helpful. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I am sending you all... 
So much love, light, and positivity. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.